Turns out we're going to go pick up a car today. Right, so today we're picking up a uh, EFXR6 Turbo barn find that I found in Kangaroo Island whilst on a little holiday. Um, main things you need when picking up a uh, Falcon. A whole box of spares, two whole boxes of spares. And a whole toolbox. And a massive toolbox. But no, it should be good. It's been sitting for about two, three years. Five. Um, Five years. 2016. Drove it between now and then. It's been bit. sitting for a while. So Kangaroo Island's full of dirt roads. It's like 80% dirt roads. So it hasn't been driven since he moved over there and bought the farm pretty much. No. Um, um, we're going to grab it from the ferry at Cape Jervis. So it's a pretty cool experience. He's pretty much putting the car on one side at Kangaroo Island and I'm picking it up on the other side on the ferry. Um, and then we'll sort all the rego papers and that when we can. Um, but yeah, it's almost my dream car. Ever since I had ELS1, which was, if you do, guys don't know, it was an EL Falcon with LS1 in it, a uh, burnout car. Um, ever since I owned that, I just loved E-Series, hence why I got the drift car. Same colour as my new car, but mine's on, obviously a genuine XR6, the new car. And, and turbo. And turbo. Built auto. Built auto. Forward facing plan, um, manifold, really. turbo, three inch exhaust, <clears throat> cam, valve springs, head work. ARP studs or bolts, whatever they use, studs or bolts. I just got a message from the guy who built it this morning, so we'll find that out soon. Yep. All right, so we're just pulling up to Cape Jervis now. The ferry is off in the distance, and I've just received a photo of it sitting on the ferry waiting. So, get. Just picked it up. Fucking the motor and everything's so healthy. 
healthy. But like, just like little things, like when I'm fussy as, just like you can tell it sat for a while. The, it's, the, some of the bushes are squeaky. Yeah, your front sway bar end links are a bit noisy. Yeah, and like something in the steering wheel. Apparently, the steering the steering um, column might hit the boost manifold, turbo manifold. No, like that, that's all tiny shit. For the price I got this, it's just like it's stupid. All it needs is some maintenance, and that's it. Even then, it doesn't even need it. It hits really hard, actually. It hits really well. It makes all the right noises. Drives killer. Like, this is actual daily ball. Yeah, this is a get in and drive every single day car. It's not noisy at all. Like, when we, like I was saying to Jordan, when we pull off that ferry, it's literally like we're just driving a stock E series. Yeah. Like, you I wouldn't think, know anything. There's no. I think that's because the screamer, like. And yeah. even when you put your foot down, there's no exhaust, no. Well, there is. There would be a little bit from the back, but because it's got the external gauge, just all the pressure is just blowing straight out the gauge. I honestly thought it was going to rev up the whole ferry when you started in there because it would have echoed. But it doesn't make any noise. Uh, it's so quiet. Yeah. And it's also like, it's on 98 at the moment. It's, um, it's got fuel. a flex fuel to run the E85. I'm going to get all the tune going over just because I'm fussy and I want to make sure because it did sit for four years and it's got old technology, old tuner. So I'm going to get everything double checked, uh, whole car gone over, whatever needs doing is going to get done. Full detail, polish, engine bay, paint, interior, everything. Um, and then whatever little dents we do find, I think Joel's found one now, I owe him 20 bucks. I've found two so far. No, that's not, I don't know, definite one. I'll put five bucks on it that it's no, another dent. One. Five bucks that it's another dent. No. Five bucks. No, no, I already owe you three. Alright. Um, <laughs> they're all just like little things, like yeah. painless dent removal. So, yeah. And look, you, um, don't, you do. don't drive paint. Yeah. You drive the engine You drive the engine and drive line. This thing's sick. And I do expect to. Like I've already said, like, I've already, in my head, I know I'm going to have to spend, well, nothing really, but because I'm fussy, I'll probably spend probably another five to ten grand getting it how I want it. Not ASAP though, like, I'm happy with how it is right You've now. You've got one issue that needs to be fixed first before anything. Steering. No. I think that holds this fucking thing together. Oh yeah. Yeah, so there's rust on the seal panel just below here. Um, there was rust there and the old owner tapped it with a hammer and it pushed through. Um, and I thought, alright, so obviously there's... Um, these XR6 kits are known for holding um, water in the kit. So, got under, as soon as I got to his house in Kangaroo Island, we dropped it on the pit. Um, I got under there and I knew I knew if there was rust on the outer seal, there was going to be rust on the inner. And sure enough, there was. But nothing real serious. It's just a um, C channel or a panel, whatever you call it. Um, seal. And that's normal anyway. Like For a 25 year old car, it happens. The, the kit holds water. And I could tell when when he, when he put it over the pit, it was just dripping with water. Like there's like years of water stuck in the kit. Um, but the rest of the car, not one bit of rust. So that was good. Besides like the little like surfacey stuff, surfacey things like but on the boot area and that's normal. But it's 25 years old, so what can you do? It's never going to be perfect. And like that. On it's the sway. It's a sway bar end links. That's what they are. So you can tell it's sat. It needs a bit of TLC and. You I'm just got to. You just got to. Yeah, yeah, it's it. You just got to be willing to give it a good. And good I got it for a stupid price. I'm not going to put that in the video. I don't want anyone knowing that. So I got no. it for a killer price. Like actual really it's like good. stupid price. Like, um, in my opinion, in today's COVID market, with the, everything happening, like just a, a the great best, price. The too, best price you could get. Too good to leave it. So yeah. I'm happy to. Oh, look at that. That's tough. Yeah. The fucking, yeah. The fucking yeah. series. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah, the what? 90 series. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, yeah the 90 yeah. series. That's what these are, 90s. Yeah, fucking um, so, yeah, so yeah, I Yeah, the 90 cheap. series. I got it cheap. It saved me going interstate and spending almost triple the price. So Pretty well what you picked this up for, with the turbo, with the cam, with the manifold, with the four-facing plenum, with the tune, with the aftermarket, ECU, the built auto, the lock diff pretty well the whole car the wheels the lowered suspension the fact that it's an xr6 you couldn't have picked up an na auto so, xr6 in this condition with the kilometers this has for the same price yeah so you I, couldn't have done it so i've seen um i've been seeing just 
Dunga spec EO executives and uh, not an EO executives, just, Commodore like yeah. EL GMIs Base with the turbos sold for this price. Yeah. So I pretty much got a genuine XR6 with the whole kit, option spoiler, floor option mats. Floor mats for the price of I've seen cars going NA. for just stock standard with a turbo bolted on. So not I'm even an XR6. Yeah, so I'm happy with it for now. I'm, I'm very. What would you call me? You you prepared. You've bought this car. You're happy with it. You're stoked with it. it. Makes great noises. It goes well. Plenty of power. All you got to do is do a little bit of TLC. It's got a blow off valve, which I hate. So we got to block that. You need that dose for more dosage. Drop a gear. Go to. I want. I want to hear. I want to hear it again. I'll crack the window a little bit so you guys can hear it. This bloke, he'd love it. How are you? Good effort. Built auto, which might have an issue. No, nah, it's fine. Going into drive, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's legit my dream car. For those of you who didn't know me before my channel i had an el falcon which was my first car ever and um i put an ls1 in it and i just traveled doing proper burnout comps and stuff it was a burnout car and um ever since then it's just been like wow i just love the way they drive i love the way they feel i can personally steer them quite well that's why i got the drift car you're comfortable the, with the it e-series and they're just they're getting rare and shit so yeah, definitely getting sought after. How good? What more could you want? Yep. I'm happy. Good effort. We're going to lunch. Let's go. Going to lunch. Punch it now. Slide me around the corner. Will it? Yeah. I can only as soon as I hit the boot the torch in a second. True. Alright, so we got the car home, went over it. The strut towers are loose. There's clunks pretty much everywhere from sitting for so long. It must have just you know, over time just worn down on the rubbers and the struts and the bushes. There's a sill where the tail shaft joins the transmission that's seeping. Um, but other than that, we got the boys out for a cruise, so pretty good first day of ownership. It needs a polish bad. We just cleaned it at the car wash, and you can't polish a turd. And at the moment, it's a it's a turd. So we're gonna get it detailed, get a little bit of rust repaired, paint what needs painting. But I think it's all savable with a detail, and then. The brake lights keep not working, which is, I just met a few E-Series lads at the car wash. Um, apparently it's notorious for the brake switch on an E-Series to just stuff out. So I've got them working for now. You just got to wiggle the switch. So that'll do for now. Now we're just going to fill our guts again. All right, so we just dropped the XR at my detailers. Shout out to 4607 Detailing in Adelaide. He's an absolute magician. He's dealt with pretty much all of my cars and they have come up that good. So, quick before and after. Paint's all swirly, it's been washed with a sponge half its life. 
Strips of fading, engine bay's filthy. Starting to fade here. Bar. Watch this space. Yeah. 